What's going on, baby? Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Yep. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We got another episode of Alan Wake. Um, we just got finished with the first one, so I'm gonna just keep going because this is the last. It's the last special special episode. So this one is called The Writer. On this second animal contact pack, the writer finds Wake in a strange circumstances. Now fully aware of the thing that op that opposes him, he must survive one increasingly night. What's that? Nightmarish situation after another. So we understand that he's stuck in his own mind. He has to wake up from the from the lake house. He was still stuck in the lake house, so we gotta get we gotta get him out of there. So he has to wake up, and we have to go through. I I don't know his memory log, just to get to where he need to go. So I'm gonna dive back into it, man. Um, before we before we get started in this gameplay, like the video, subscribe if you're new, and we. We're gonna get into it. Alan Wake, the writer. Previously on Alan Wake. It's not a lake. It's an ocean. After saving my life from the mysterious dark presence, I found myself trapped in a dark place. Imagination can be the enemy here. A nightmarish world that exists somewhere beyond the shores of our own existence. Oh, world is happening. Just do what Zane tells you. Oh, I this thing. It's all really true. I made my way across this ever shifting landscape, trying to reach Thomas Zane. You're trapped in your own nightmares. You're still going deeper. Myself. It was a moment of clarity. Surprise. I don't like surprises. Don't, don't, don't give me that word. Thank you. 
That's all right. After finishing departure, I felt finished myself. All I had wanted was to save Alice. After that, a part of me had been ready to just give it and die. But I hadn't given up. Thomas Sane had reached me. I had run across a nightmarish landscape following the signal from the tower. He kept telling me I was sinking, going too deep. I wasn't sure if he meant the dark place or insanity. Perhaps they were one and the same. That pump. Actually feel pretty rational all things considered crazy people don't know they're crazy that's where they're crazy hey check out the light show behind the lodge that's Zane's light yeah you're done sinking now that means he's just about caught up with you you better go talk to him all right let's go I don't want to be here any longer Lots of fireworks here. Nice. Wake heard the old gods play. Music came out of wrong. It attracted the horrors. Oh, hell yeah. Remember this now? See ya. This is 
classic you. Always think things through. This is just a moment. Even your memories are complicated. Uh, yeah. So, I guess... You just talk to Zane out there now that he's actually here. I'm just gonna, you know... Zane, you have done well, Alan. Now I can accompany you. You are trapped in your own dream. You must wake yourself up, but first, you have to reach yourself. The cabin? Yes, my cabin. It will not be easy. Your previous work can help you. I still have some pages of your manuscript left. Words like that have power here.
stay focused on the lighthouse. As we reach it, we will find the cabin. Things are getting pretty crazy here, Zane. It's to be expected. You are struggling to reclaim yourself. The landscape reflects that strain, but each step takes you closer. If you persevere, you can attain the lucidity that fends off the darkness. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. Right. That work. This boy gave us some juice, boy.
spinning the wheel. Never getting anywhere. was much closer now. I would have to make my way up there somehow.
some more flashlight. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. I don't think I like that. You represent the part of our work that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait! Are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you call Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. How can you say that when you wrote that page about me and the clicker? It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed to click her, but I am not. What? I don't understand. Ellie, you should keep going. I don't understand. Zane? Zane, come on! Some something. Well, I cleared things up. Something very off the Zane. I don't
Yeah, something's off his end, yo. I don't know if this dude is helping me or playing me. Well, we're gonna get to the bottom of this when we get to the White House. It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. This is insane.
on battery. Wake ran for the light. It was pointless. He would never reach it. His life would be snuffed out just as easily as the very thing he thought would save him. Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. I mean, I'm, I made it this far, I might as well keep going. Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate how happy I am that you've had this breakthrough, I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if you think I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious, the car crash. Untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor impulse control. God damn. That's a dangerous combination, one which your wife has unfortunately had to suffer from far more than you. I know. I know she has. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that you are existing in a state of all-encompassing denial. Your vivid fantasy casts you as a heroic victim and allows you to skirt responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self-serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I... I think that's spot on. I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um... No, no. I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You've put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? You refused my offer of help, and here you are. Did being so obdurate really get you to a better place? No. No. And did it really help Alice? Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I hate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama. Until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance and self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch! All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. She didn't say that, Alan. Ouch. I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has left. I think this is a breakthrough, Alan. I'm really very proud of you. She didn't say that. But we not staying. Straight up.
It was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. What I heard in there wasn't the truth. It was just another toxic mirage. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. How the hell do I get out of here? I felt like the typewriter was mocking me. I was supposed to be calling the shots, but for a long time, it had been the other way around. I was the and it was just the tool of my trade. There's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. 
reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. I'll make it. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. I guess. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever you did. Am I wrong? Oh, man. See? I know you. But Alan, they kept coming. There were too many of them. I love hordes and hordes of them. Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill. They were coming for Wake. And this time they would get it with sheer numbers. Shit, not with the lighthouse beaming like that. Alright man, let's 
get to this light, lighthouse. Let's get to it. The lighthouse. I was relieved to have made it here, but I wasn't sure what was going to happen now. I don't either, cause last time we saw the lighthouse was at the beginning of the damn game. Must be upstairs. Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the Dark Presence had done to him if he couldn't follow. But from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbols, the way the dark place flowed. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Ooh, what type of bridge is this? Kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. Oh, this is okay. ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. The thing is, if you need to get all rational here, abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine. You're abandoned. Fine. What I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill your darlings things. But hell, you're used to that, big shot fighter. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking a people like you, turning his friends into... What does it say about you? Oh, this is just to keep yourself from getting better. Here we go! I'm earning a 50% commission. Great that you first make yourself an imaginary friend, and then you can't even get along with that guy. Equal skills, Al. You're a master. Alright, this is it. Let's crack that writer's block of yours, Alan. And it's not just that. You're a master. I'm a master. I'm a master. A master of something's a mutant. Gangsters! And 
the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. It wouldn't take much for my thoughts to stray again. It was too easy to get lost in the dark place. Before, I was ready to curl up and die. Let myself slip away. But here I was, the yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me, a sequel to Departure. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Oh lord, I thought he was going to get out, come on man. I see why. Oh, come on. Is this the is this the end of Alan 
Alan Wick the game? Because if it is, I gotta play the second one. Maybe he's still trapped in there, bro. I gotta look at the trailer. I gotta, I gotta look at the trailer and see if he's still stuck in there. If he is, I gotta, I gotta buy the game. But I don't know if the game is, is. I don't know if the game is um, is played on Xbox One. They gotta be on the Xbox Series X or S. Which means I gotta get me another game cause bro golly come on man you know times is tough I can't buy no other account no console right now but yeah man it look like you gotta you gotta make another make another um story he finished departure. Now you gotta write another story called the return. Mm. Which apparently look like I don't got no more DSA consoles and shit. Let me see. Yeah. Alright, yeah. That's gonna be the end of the video. Um, yeah, man. Again, not a game I didn't didn't settle with in. Um, we went through both of the uh downloadable content, the signal and the writer, and and it all came down to is. I mean, he came to his senses since he was stuck in the dark place, but he's trying to get out of the dark place now. So he has to make another story just to uh, get up out of there. And you got Alan, Alan Awake, Alan Wake 2 that just dropped, well, I think a month ago. Yeah, dropped a month ago. And I gotta, I gotta go, I gotta go get it, man. I gotta see how the thing ends. But they have like a, yeah, man, I just gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta see, I, I, I gotta see what I finished, man. But, um, if you went through all this gameplay, you enjoyed this gameplay, give it a, um, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, comment down below what you think. Um, how did you feel when this thing We gotta finish this. We gotta play the second game. See how it, see how it turns out. So, until next time.